I was hoping you'd be in a better mood, babe. It's a hit or miss. Hey, Piper, I'm really happy I get to be here with you and your family. You can lean up against me if you want. That'll help. Mm. Want to what? Swing her up. Okay. I think I try holding her. The swing and cheer her up? Sometimes. <clears throat> Come here. Do you want to swing? Uh, 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 she likes that song too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So music calms her down. Sometimes. Oh, yeah. Sometimes. Uh, or it can crank her up. <laughs> hey Piper. He's gonna sing for you. Or play for you. Does she like going on the floor? She does. <laughs> if you want, we can all sit on the floor. There we go. And what I'll do if, I, if she's anxious, I'll start with the faster beat. Because that's kind of where she's at. She's at a faster beat, so I'll start out real fast. And I'll start with... Uh, You're not gonna clap now with me, are you? She's warming up. Start faster. And then I'll just sort of slowly slow the tempo. When she kind of locks in with me, I'll slow the tempo. Just sort of trying to help her to bring the, bring the heartbeat really, calm it down. And we'll slow down some more. We'll just keep slowing down. It'll help kind of calm things. So this is how you two communicate. Oh, yes. Mm. Oh, yes. And she's actually very attentive. Like, she, she may not show that she understands all the words. Because <laughs> she, <laughs> she doesn't does. repeat them. But she's definitely hearing you. Uh, those are, that was one time uh, we were in church. And our pastor was, I don't remember the whole what the whole story was about. But it was about a... He was talking about a horse. He had all the kids at the front ready to sing. They were going to sing a little children's production. And he stood up and started telling a little short story about a farm and a horse before service started. And Piper started humming really loudly, Old MacDonald at a farm. And uh, that's, I think that's when it clicked to me that some of her humming with songs is her associating the words with what's going on around her and trying to give more credit and pay attention to what is she singing and why is she singing that. Mm -hmm. Do you ever wonder what your sister's thinking about? Yeah, a lot of times. What do you think she's thinking? Uh, it depends on the type of songs. Like if she say the ants go marching one by one, I think she's trying to count. How does your sister express to you that she loves you? Um, by happy songs and by loving songs. <laughs> Well, I noticed since you sat by her, she's singing if you're happy and you know it. I bet that's because you make her happy. As soon 
as Piper and her sister sat together, Piper would sing, if you're happy and you know it, the whole time they were sitting together. <laughs> Am I correct in interpreting that as her expressing how happy she is to sit with her sister? Yeah, she loves Miliana. She really does. And just singing in general is a good note that she's happy, but yeah, that one's a specific happy song. <laughs> so, she likes singing a lot. <laughs> I think that's her most favorite thing she does. Should we do it faster? She had a, an oxygen monitor on her foot and it made a specific beeping yeah. tone, like pattern. And then um, she started mimicking it <coughs> to get our attention in the night because she knew we'd come running. Yeah. So she would hum. So she would do that. Nah, 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 <laughs> nah, nah. Does your sister ever get excited? <laughs> what do you think when she gets excited? I think she has exciting news. What do you think her exciting news is? Hmm. Something happy and where she wants her family to come. What do you want other people to know about Piper? I want them to know that she's um, a sister of mine and I want them to know she's fun to play with and she sings lots of songs. What is the best thing about having a sister? The best thing that you get to spend around with them because they are the family in the family and they are fun to spend around with. So. Does your sister like to give you high fives? As I was playing music with Piper, she looked up at me, and in my mind, that was like the a special moment because it was as if she's like, "Okay, I'm having fun, and I want to see who this is." Yeah, yeah. She looks around, and you know, because she doesn't make direct eye contact, those moments in which she likes to make direct eye contact, and she's purposefully doing it. It, yeah, it's a sign that she's she's liking you. As she always loved music. <laughs> yes. Ever ever since she. <laughs> Like uh, she had meant about the uh, AC in the car one time. She was just following the beat to that. So like she has always loved it, memorized it, sings to it.
right now we're kind of having a conversation, aren't we? Yeah. Stop all of a sudden. She would just be like, hey. She might pop, she might like pop your hand like, hey, keep going. Keep going, keep going. I like this, I like this, keep going. Piper's diagnosis? Um, so Piper was born with an unbalanced translocation of her second and 11th chromosomes. So basically her second chromosome and her 11th chromosome sections of them kind of broke off and her second chromosome, um, the very end of it, 2Q37.3, um, broke off and went away and deleted. So she has something called 2Q37.3 deletion syndrome. And then the 11th chromosome, it broke off, um, duplicated, and then rejoined. And that created a syndrome called Beckwith-Weidman syndrome. Um, Beckwith-Weidman syndrome is like an overgrowth syndrome. Um, they, the cells are dividing rapidly. So children are at risk of childhood cancers. Um, sometimes their airways are blocked because their tongues are so large. And then the 2Q37.3 deletion syndrome is a bit rarer. Um, there's about 200 cases in the world with it. It has uh, symptoms of autistic-like features, low muscle tones, and some seizures. So it's two separate genetic conditions? Yeah. Is there any other known person with both of them? No. And then the way in which she received them um, being an unbalanced translocation is really rare too. Like less than 1% of people with Beckwith-Weidman syndrome receive it in that fashion. How old are you? Six, and I think she's eight. So you're the younger sister. What's it like to be the younger sister? Um, the younger sister that you get cared for. Do you ever help Piper with anything? Yeah. What do you help with? I help with <laughs> making her try to not pull hair. <laughs> and I help with kissing a wheelchair when I see in one. So. Do you like when your sister's excited? Yeah. Why do you like it? Because I'm happy for her. I'm happy for her too. I'm happy that she's happy. How would you explain Piper's differences to a child? Um, so... I, a lot of times when Piper meets a new child that hasn't been around any disabilities, we'll break it down if they're um, focused in on the wheelchair, we'll say, you know, she uses this so she can move around like you guys. And then uh, we tell uh, little kids that Piper keeps the best secrets. She's not gonna tell any of your secrets, um, but she can hear you and she understands what you're saying. And um, we'll try to tell them, teach them a couple of the songs that she likes to communicate with. Um, and just encourage them on ways they can interact with her so we don't break down, you know, that she's sick or, or crazy chromosome stuff. Just keep it simple for them to understand that she's, she's a kid. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to sew it. If you're happy and I you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stop your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stop your feet. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to sew If you're happy and you know it, stop your feet. What's it like for you to see her form a new bond with somebody over music? It's really cool. Um, it's like they're speaking her language. 
especially you know when they figure out the rhythm uh, rhythm is such a fun easy game i mean you can teach a two-year-old that like you know piper likes to communicate like this and then you just teach them to clap and then when piper starts clapping to the rhythm that child is it's like that child gets a little bit more connected and um, in a relationship with piper Will you tell me the story of how Piper inspired you to foster children with disabilities? Yeah, uh, so Piper had a trach when she was real little. Um, it was before her tongue reduction surgery, so her tongue was big, blocked her airway, so we had to give her a safe one. Um, she caught a lot of colds. She was premature. Her lungs were real weak. She was on oxygen, so we were at the hospital. Even past NICU, we got admitted a lot, and during one of our admissions, we were on the pulmonary floor at Children's of Alabama and we noticed that there was a child in the room next to us who didn't have anyone coming in or out of their room to visit. And when we walked past the room, we didn't see any signs that, you know, people were living there. If you walked past our room, there's like stuffed animals and blankets and a pantry and dirty laundry, but there was, the room was bare. Um, so we asked the hospital staff, you know, where's this kid's parents? And without bringing HIPAA, they said, there are some children who are in state's care, DHR, CPS care, and um, because of their diagnosis, there isn't foster homes or a home that's able or willing to take them in, so they just live at the hospital. And when we realized that had Piper been born to another family, that could have been her alone in the hospital room, we, um, we thought, you know, we've been trained and equipped by the hospital to handle trachs, so why not go get licensed through the state to foster and We've been doing that ever since. Early in fostering, we realized we are never going to have a family picture where it feels like all of our kids are represented. And we wanted something um, so that when our foster kids left, we felt like they're kind of still a part of the family. They're still a part of the picture. So those are all the fingerprints of our foster children, our adopted son, and our, our biological girls. And then we have um, some little painted figures of all the crew. So it kind of... It's not a full picture of everyone, but it gives us a reminder of all the kids we've had. How many children have you fostered? We're I think we're on 20. We're at 20? Yeah. 21? Something in there. Somewhere in there. <laughs> <laughs> and that all started with Piper. Yeah. yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I, I don't think we would have done any. We wouldn't have had the courage, firstly, because yeah. Piper forced us. I mean, forced us to learn things we would have never learned on our own. What is your biggest hope for your sister? Maybe something you want to do together, somewhere you want to go. It could be anything. I hope that one day she can swim and learn how to swim and have a fun life. Do you want to swim in a pool with your sister? What? Do you want to swim in a pool with your sister? Yeah, but she doesn't know how because she can't walk on her legs, so that makes it hard. She can only sit in a pool. So all she does is sit in one. And I just wish you could swim one with me whenever I'm swimming. Tell me about Piper's relationship with Miliana. Oh. <laughs> they are sweet. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> they are like best friends. Miliana definitely has a heart for, uh, for fostering the special needs. I mean, like, she's very empathetic. We love making up songs together, though. That sounds fun. What kind of songs have you made up together? Um. Well, we made up one about loving, and it was all about hope, because I said how much I love with her to be here with me. So it was about loving my sister. Miliana sits by Piper in the car, and Piper sometimes doesn't use kind hands, and so she'll snatch Miliana's toy or pull on or her hair. shirt and Miliana I mean she's had so many times where she's in tears because Piper just hit her. hit her really quick and she wasn't prepared but we, whenever we tell her you know well let's move your seat somewhere else she's like no I want to be by Piper mm -hmm. and and she'll tell her she'll correct her too she'll and she'll she'll Piper kind hands <laughs> does Piper always have kind hands 
Uh, not always, because she loves pulling Kaya because she sings to the hail. So, and sometimes she hits us, but a lot of times she doesn't, so that's sometimes she does me dance. And she can't help it because unless she's mad, she might do some of this stuff. And when I see wants hail, she just might pull someone else's hair or whole hair. What do you think when she pulls your hair? I would be mad at her. I would I would be really mad at her, but I would calm down and I would be I would think about the happy stuff, not the mean stuff. And we have to have the bad days for the good days. I think what I would want everyone to know about Piper is that there is joy amongst the hard days. Uh, especially early in her years, she was really sick. We had a lot of traumatic incidences happen with her. It felt like we were fighting for her life all the time, but there are a lot of really good days mixed in that. And um, to know that our days are numbered and we're not gonna you know, pass before our time and that we're gonna have lived our, our days to the fullest, uh, she's, she's just really a blessing to us. <laughs> Would you like to see inside? It's a vibration. What do you think when your sister's singing? When Elsie sings, like, it makes me think that she's trying to tell us something. I think she's saying that. I think she's saying she's happy. When somebody meets Piper and your family through this video, what do you hope they think? That they, you know, would have the desire to get to know her. Uh, the desire to, you know, learn about the music and be like, oh, what songs? And, you know, and uh, does she like to sing? And, um, and understand that she does listen. She is listening and she is aware of her surroundings and stuff like that. Um, and like, like the story we mentioned about the pastor earlier about she knew to sing about Old MacDonald because of the horse, you know, that he had mentioned. And that's just mind blowing. <laughs> Like right there, she was just listening, and then when I stopped, she's saying, "Give me yeah. more." Yeah, she does. That. Oh yeah, no, if it was up to her, it'd be 24 hours of music, like while she's sleeping, while she's eating, while she's playing, while she's. This is what she wants all day. I play music in the house and stuff, just like my legs or whatever. She 
likes the different genres. She likes the nursery rhymes. She likes the sonic metal. 